Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I have put out a video and I had an awesome haul yesterday so I figured I would video that and show you. There's actually two hauls combined but the first one was only a couple things but yesterday I lucked out and so I want to show you. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up at the thrift for around 70, I think it was less than $80. I think it was $77 because I had a personal item. So. If you want to see what I got, stick around. That was a firecracker. Set! Woo! Good job! <laughs> Okay, so first thing I got yesterday, you should always pick up Tupperware. Vintage Tupperware, modern Tupperware, printed Tupperware, any any kind of Tupperware, you see it, you should pick it up. This is a big, huge bowl. I'm not exactly sure what the name of it would be. You could look it up. The number is, um, it's kind of hard to tell. Maybe it's upside down. Oh no. Uh, six, eight, three, dash eight. So it's a big, big bowl. This is the lid. Um, and it also has a handle. So, I mean, I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. And I can spot Tupperware from a mile away because I have just picked it up so many times. But this is the vintage Tupperware logo. I can always tell by that circle because it kind of looks like Target logo. That's just what I think of. Um, and then here is on the bottom. Um, but Tupperware, especially vintage Tupperware, sells like that. I never hang on to it for longer than a week. And it always goes for good money. So I picked this up yesterday for two bucks. Probably get like around 20 or 25 at least. And then I always pick up vintage cake molds as well. So I got this Christmas tree one. This one is not, I don't know if it's vintage, it doesn't say the year on it, usually it does say, so like right here, it says the information, I don't know if you'll even be able to see it, but it says Wilton, and then it says Woolridge, Illinois, it made in, well it doesn't say made in Korea, but it does say Korea, and then it gives a style number, which is 502-1107, so you can look it up if you want. Um, cake, cake pans, cake mold, things like this are always cool, and... Generally, I'll pick them up if it's in good condition. People like to buy these things, probably like around 20 bucks or so. Paid two bucks. Um, and then I also picked up this brand new one. It's a gingerbread boy is what it says on the back. Um, this is also Wilton brand. So this is just like a cookie sheet for if you wanted to make a gingerbread cookie. Um, so there's the logo right here. This is modern. I'm guessing this is from Walmart. Um, just based on what this label looks like. So anyways, probably be able to get around $20 for that. And then this, I picked this bunny. It's like a jello mold or like a cupcake mold or something like that. Um, so this would be fun for Easter. It's vintage from 1992, the year I was born. So it's Wilton and it says right there if you can kind of see it. Oh, right there. Wilton 1992, the style number is 2105-4428. So this is super cute for Easter, and again, you probably get around $20 for that. And then yesterday I picked this orange Affliction shirt up. I always pick up Affliction and American Fighter. Um, it's not really a brand that I wear anymore, but a lot of people do wear it. This is the back of it. Um, it's, it's just not so much my style anymore, but I used to wear this kind of stuff. Um, it always sells fast, and so this shirt was three dollars. It's a I don't know what size it is. I'm pretty sure it's a small. Oh yeah, it's a small. Um, and so I'll probably list this for like twenty-five bucks and take an offer of like eighteen or twenty dollars on it. So yeah, always pick up Affliction and American Fighter. And then <clears throat> another thing you should always pick up is so I'm giving you lots of bolos here. It's Tupperware. Um, Affliction American Fighter and anything we related well I guess you should look it up but majority of the time we stuff 
does pretty well. I have sold tons of Wii games, and I found this. I've never even seen this or heard of this before. It's a Wii U Draw game tablet. So you like draw on this thing right here, and then it shows up on the TV. And it also included a game. And both are brand new. Like this is the protective sheet on it, and then the the Wii game is still in the plastic case as well. So this was five bucks. And um, when I was looking up comps in the store, they were like twenty dollars, but those were all for used ones. So where this is brand new, probably be able to get like at least twenty five. Um, and I think this is oh no, two more hard goods, but I'll get to those at the very end. Um, Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn sells really well. So another bolo item. This is just like a little plate that says nibble on it. It was 50 cents. Um, before I get to my other hard goods, I'll just go ahead and show you something else since the hard goods are on the other side of the table and I want to test them with you as well. So um, yesterday I was like, it was when my daughter goes to dance. I usually go to the thrift store while she's at dance for like 40 minutes. Um, and I was talking myself out of it yesterday because I do have a major money pile that needs to be listed. But I am so glad I decided against my better judgment and went because I found tons of good stuff. Um, including these Kate Spade Randy rain boots. These are like in excellent condition. It's so cute. They've got red on the inside and then, um, let's see here. Oh, paid eight dollars for them. I thought I had removed all the stickers. They were there were stickers inside too and apparently on the bottom here. Anyway, um here's the Kate Spade logo right there. These are size nine. Um, and then I found these Tory Birch. This is my second time finding Tory Birch. That was my first time finding Kate Spade, so that was really exciting. My second time finding Tory Birch. So they're these um I can't remember what they were called. Susan, maybe? Um, these are size 9 also. I'm wondering if the same lady like donated multiple things because there was a ton of things that were like in a size 8.5 or 9 that were really high-end brands like those Kate Spade, these, and I've got a couple other things. So anyways, these are a size 9 as well. Um, and then I got some Sperry boat shoes. I've never picked up Sperry before. I know some people say it doesn't sell well, but I mean these were four bucks So I'm okay if I only get like 20 or 25 bucks for them. The gold is kind of fun on it, and They are a good size. They're a women's eight, so I think they'll sell um, And then I got these Madden girl slip-on mules with like the horse bite. I've sold a pair of these that look they were purple, but they were Vionic brand, like a lavender color, and they sold like the next day after I listed it. So these are a women's six, so kind of a small size, but they were three dollars, so I sh I'll be okay again with like 20, 25 bucks. Um, then I also picked up these pink glitter girls Converse. They're like, um, it's not rough to the touch. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, but they are in excellent condition. I do need to clean the toes a bit, but these were $5 and they're girl size 13. Um, and then I also got these neon pink Converse. If you see Converse like in an unusual color or pattern or style, pick them up. They generally do well if they're like something unusual something kind of rare so this neon pink color was really cool and then the zipper detail i really like that the laces are like a grayish purple color too which is cool they say size five so i'm assuming that's the men's size five because they're like as big as my foot and i wear an eight so these are probably like a woman's seven and a half or eight um and again in excellent condition here i just need to clean up the toe a little bit these ones were six and then I picked up these E-Spirit um, clogs. I've never picked up E-Spirit before. So these like remind me of something from the 90s and I know that the 90s is like totally coming back. And I think E-Spirit's a good brand. I'm pretty sure it's sold at Nordstrom. I mean it says Earth Spirit. Is is that E-Spirit? I'm not. I'm still wearing here guys. I'm pretty sure it is but I mean correct me if I'm wrong. These are size eight and a half and these were four dollars editing Jordan here and I just have to say I'm so embarrassed. Earth Spirit and East Spirit are not the same. It's not even East Spirit. It's East Sprit. <laughs> Told you I'm still learning. 
And then here's another pair that I wondered if were donated by the same lady. They're a pair of black Cole Haan by Nike, or yeah, Cole Haan and Nike Air collab. So did you know that Nike actually owned Cole Haan for a while? I learned that, I'm pretty sure it was from Rinzi that I learned that from. Um, and then here's the Cole Haan inside. So they're in really good condition, like the top of the shoes. The bottom does have wear, but I mean the tops are like in excellent condition, so who cares if the bottom is is worn. These are an eight and a half, and again, it says Kohan right there with the Nike Air logo. Super cool. First time finding those. Um, and then, uh, I love snakeskin. I'm not a purse person, and I am tempted to keep this, but I never carry a bag. I love snakeskin though, and I have honestly been looking for a snakeskin purse, even though I never carry a bag. So it would probably just sit, but I'm tempted to keep this. It was $3. It's an Apartment 9 brand, so I'm pretty sure that's just like JCPenney or something. Just a department store brand, but it's still really cute. And it's in excellent condition. There's like nothing on the inside. The bottom, I mean, it seriously looks like it was never even used. So that's good. Probably get like, I don't know, I would be good with $20 or $25. Um, and then I also picked up this Montana West. It's a crossbody, like a messenger bag. See, there's the logo right here. Um, this is a good brand to pick up, and especially purses like Montana West, because this is a concealed carry pocket right here, so your gun fits perfectly in right there. And then obviously this part goes up against your body, so nobody would even see it. Um, so I'm thinking I'll probably get around 30, or I mean probably 40 to $50 for this. Um, and then on the inside, it's just got like the Montana West logos all over. And that, that's really cute. I mean, really Western, but I think it's cute still. I like, I like those colors. Okay, and then the other two that I got are electronics. And I have watched so many resellers pick up electronics, and they always do so well, but I have just never like found anything. Our thrift store, um, for a a uh, DVD player they ask like $20 for these used DVD players and you can go to Walmart and buy a, a brand new DVD player for like 1988 um, so it's never been worth it but I found a VCR which I never find this is seriously my first time and it was three bucks so I need to test that out and then I also found a CD player which if you ever see those look it up it's Emerson brand the VCR is Orion brand um, it's a triple linear CD player. So let me go grab those and I will show you. Okay, the VCR, like I said, Orion brand right here. Um, I need to test it. It does have some scratches and stuff on the top. Like I'm assuming that maybe their TV was sitting on top of this and kind of scratched it. But I mean, who cares? Nobody cares. Um, so I need to test this out. I gotta go downstairs and get out a VC, a VHS tape out of one of my for sale bins and test that out. And then this is the CD player that I was talking about. So it's Emerson brand. See right there, it's a triple play linear 3D CD or sorry, three CD changer. Model is MS 36. 3106. When I looked this up at the store yesterday, comps were 80, around $80 plus shipping, and I paid eight for this. So if I could pay, get $80 out of this, that would pay for everything I just showed you, um, including my one personal item, and I have it sitting right here, so I'll show you that as well. Um, it's another electronic. It is. A little sound machine I have this in my daughter's room um, but hers is all white and I got it on Amazon it was on sale for 20 bucks this was three dollars yesterday and I have been needing one for my baby for his room and um, his room is like kind of green and orange and blue so this is perfect and it was three dollars so that means it saved me like $17 plus tax because I didn't have to buy it on Amazon um, I will link these on Amazon though because if you don't have one you should definitely get one it's they're not just for kids trust me I sleep good too when I sleep in her room because my baby wakes up and we play musical beds in our house a lot um, 
Anyways, they're great for everyone. And the cool thing about these is that you can plug it in, so it doesn't need batteries if you plug it in. Um, but you can t you can put batteries in it too, and then use it like as a portable one or whatever if you don't have an outlet. But if you just plug it in, you don't need batteries. So um, we always listen to the summer night, so it's like crickets. Uh, I really like that one. There's a white noise, which is just like static, ocean, heartbeat, thunder. The thunder one's good too, but I think sometimes it kind of scares my little girl. And then brook, so it's like a stream. Um, like I said, thunder night is my favorite. And then it also has a timer on here. You can do 15, 30 minute, or 60 minute, and then the volume right there. Um, I always just, I never set the timer, I just leave it on, so it's on 24-7. Um, anyways, that was my haul, so now it's time to go and test those electronics. Editing Jordan here again. I decided to cut the video right here. I'm going to test the electronics in another video because this one's already long enough. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Hopefully you got a good laugh from me making a fool of myself in some of those clips. Um, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of new content planned for you. I have a list a mile long of awesome videos that I plan on making for you. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and maybe leave me a comment below.